good morning it's about half past 10 on sunday and we've just woken up i'm so tired i'm not awake yet <laughs> i beat his chipper and chirpy because he's always wide awake when he first wakes up it's very unlike him to sleep in so long because normally he's up with the lark no matter what time he went to bed he's making coffee at the moment got another gig today it's in brecon this time it's only a quickie only a 45 minute set and then we're off and then I'm going home afterwards. I've got to get my vlog up because I'm still not finished, the one for Sunday night, because it's Sunday today. Uh, so I'm going to have coffee and snuggle time with my other half now. And when we've done that, I'm going to finish my vlog, get that up. And then I'm not sure what we're doing between then and leaving for the gig, but there might not be a lot of time. Let's see how the day goes. And it wasn't so hot last night, so I think that's why we slept so well and for so long and caught up with a lot of sleep. Let's see, where's his legs? They're under there. Under the sheet. Can you give your toe a wiggle so they believe me? There we are, yes. <laughs> See this? This is my flute callus. This is from where the flute comes into contact with my finger. And I've done a lot of playing this week. And every so often it gets to the point where I have to hack it down a bit. So, oh my good gosh, I've just been crying with laughter. I brought my laptop down to show my boyfriend. I can't show it to you. It's from last night's gig footage. Oh my good god. So I was wearing that dress and it was hot. So I just, from where I was sitting, it was just, you know, it was up to about here. No, I've seen it, the audience have seen it at their eye level. Oh my. <laughs> Not only could you see my crotch, but there was a point in the video, I just freeze framed it now. I'm just laughing my head off. I had my leg up in the air like this to signal it's time for the tune to change. Oh my goodness. X rated stuff. Anyway. I'm gonna put a pair of shorts on my shopping list for next time I have to wear a dress on stage. That's why, that's one of the reasons you expose things at people's eye level. Ah, oh, right, that was hilarious. If you saw a sequence of us playing on stage and it was suspiciously cropped close in on me on my upper half, that is why for the whole set. <laughs> you can see more than you should. Right, anyway. I'm gonna get back to it. It is much later, don't know what the time is, but I've finally come up for air from my working on the channel stuff. And look what my boyfriend's made me, oolong noodles with sauteed veg and salmon. And it's nearly two o'clock and we have to leave at 2.45 to go to Brecon. I am now out for the quickest of walks. I kid you not, five minutes in each direction, then I've gotta get back to IB's, pack up and go to the gig. I can hear an eagle or something. I'm gonna have to turn back. I'm going back to pack my stuff up, short and sweet, but you know, every little helps when it comes to keeping yourself fit. Oh look, sweet chestnuts are coming. They be coming. <laughs> oh look, they got the pollinating -y thingies on them. Wow, you do not feel the temperature difference when you come back into the house. It feels like stepping into a fridge. It's still the heat wave, very much so. I don't know what the temperature is outside because we've got no thermometers here. I don't know if our gig today is open air, like with a stage with a covering usually, or if it's in a building, but we will find out fairly soon, won't we? As a flautist, I am not a fan of playing in the open air because I'm doing this very precise wind stream coming between my lips and into the the hole on the mouthpiece of the float. And if a breeze comes along that's strong enough, it disrupts it, it changes the shape of it and it affects the the volume, the tone and the, you know, the aspects to varying degrees. So you have to constantly be aware of the sensation of the air on your face and micro adjust to compensate. And you have to concentrate on it basically. And it's really hard to sort of lose yourself to the music and just get into it and forget about everything else. And yeah, it's hard to get into the zone when you're constantly like, oh, the wind's getting a bit stronger, right? I've got to have a higher intensity, more pressure around my lips and all that. Push a bit more air through because the air is pushing that away, so you've got to be blow a bit more strong. You know, after years of experience, you just kind of, you do get the knack of these things, but sometimes it's just too much. <laughs> sometimes you get crosswinds, like when we play in the Roll Dahl Plus in... Cardiff Bay, I haven't done it for years, but there was a stage set up there at one point and we did it a few times and it was a nightmare. because There was winds coming from both directions. Oh. Here we go. The getting to the gig stress begins. Everybody ahead seems to be turning around. 
but and a lot of people are sort of communicating they're turning around and then saying things to people i wonder if this one's going to as well yeah she is oh thanks so much tree across the road but it's low is it and we can get under it Higher. Cars can, but nothing higher. Oh, the drama! <laughs> yeah. Oh, there it is. Look. Oh, that's. Uh, uh, does anyone have to report that? Are we supposed to ring somebody? Yeah, somebody should really. Oh, he's like. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. And I mean, some people I think they turned around because they saw other people turning around and they could have fitted under it, but they just thought, oh, everyone's turning around, there must be a reason. Yeah. There's something else here. What's this on the floor? Look, some debris. Oh, just muck and stones and things. Okay. Is there like an official hand signal you need to do to alert if there's a thing ahead? Like in the old days, you, you had to do hand signals in the old days. Did, when you did your driving test, did you have to do hand signals? You had to learn the signals in case you're indicators per oh yeah that was it like up and down for one and then around for the other or something like that it was straight out for one and it was round for the other ah oh, olden days i can't imagine they do that now no i don't imagine well i haven't done a driving test i did some driving theory with a cd rom i don't remember but i i had like i had the original highway code in hardback like a reprint and i loved it and i read it back to back i thought it was really fascinating in the really olden times when they first had cars they had to have somebody walking out in front of it holding a flag to warn people there was a car coming that's how slow they went somebody had to walk in front of it i don't know what year that was so i have to look it up and put it on the screen i've just um, been chatting away and it escaped my notice that we've actually stopped again so musician's life eh? I think people think when they're young and deciding they might like to be a musician professionally they they fixate more on as I did the being on stage the exhilaration of the gig you know giving it your best blending in with the band rather than oh yes well we've got to work out the logistics we've got to get the PA in and out we've got to set all the gear up hours and hours of travel this and then the stress that you feel where you're sat stationary in the vehicle knowing that time is ticking away and you don't know how long it's going to take you to get there uh, anyway i'll update you i'm trying to get onto the website to just notify somebody i mean probably every man and his dog has notified them but what if everybody was like i was a minute ago saying oh somebody else would have reported it you just don't know do you no it won't work Finally moving, we left loads and loads of spare time, so no panic. Stationary again. Only traffic lights this time though. Temperature is 34 degrees. Going over this rather gorgeous bridge. I've vlogged going over this one before. IB likes the recesses in it, the triangular ones. So coming through, so that's Crick Howell. This is the outskirts of Crick Howell. We're only a couple of minutes away now. It's all suspiciously quiet. <laughs> no. Oh no, is there another place called Brecon? <laughs> well, it's not like, like all the roads are covered in parked cars. No, no. Because we're literally half a mile from town less than that from town centre. So. Yeah, fire station. Oh, here we go. We seem to be coming to Morrison's. <laughs> going past Morrison's oh look there's a stage but we're not in that one though are we we're in somewhere yeah. else oh. there's a festival on you see so there's fringe events on in the pubs so we're doing one of those I wouldn't be surprised if we weren't in that one we've got Google Maps out for the last bit we've got a four minute walk to the venue didn't get very far with the sat nav we've walked about 20 meters and I've had to just give it to IB I'm like I don't even understand this because the arrow of where we are is like just it's drifted off any kind of road <laughs> We just turned around the corner and we passed three bouncers outside that pub, all you know, in black and looking very bouncily, eating a magnum each, three of them, <laughs> looking like they were enjoying it as well. Up here and turn right, apparently. Oh, look at that big building there. Gigs in the street. Sounds like we're going to have to be loud. Everyone's competing with volume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to nobble the two free seats. Oh, they have too much to carry. <laughs> Found Dan anyway. 
doing the sound for another band at the moment. Change of plan. We found a lovely empty room just by the side of the stage and it's really cool. I don't know if they got aircon on or what, but it's cool and dark and completely empty. Now you can see down there, look, Beaver in away doing the sound for another band. There's an IB behind my hand. Scrounge some tap water and ice from the bar. I really like the sheep's heads up there. Good afternoon, oh. everyone. How are you all doing? Yeah, yeah. Hot. Yeah. Just a bit. Yeah, just a bit. I've got my. Don't come too near. I've got my smelly sandals on this afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> my works ones, but they're comfy. There we go. We are Herschel's Bar, and we're going to deliver you some nice depressing songs. We're going to keep you happy for the next 45 yeah. minutes. <laughs> if you don't believe that is, have a drink in the morning, have a drink in the evening. It's one of those we've got to squash into a very small space gigs. <laughs> All done and it went very well, went down well with the people here. My order of proceedings is to put away the most expensive and breakable things first. So the flute goes away first, then the whistle, and then I start working on the most breakable bits, mic and all that. Yeah, better get on with that. Hmm, I don't know why. I really fancy spaghetti for dinner. <laughs> we might be sometime. Dan said it's the ultimate cat's cradle. Finished, all packed up and leaving. Passing the Plough United Reformed Church. It's an interesting looking building. There's a police car. It's very, very uh, creeper clad. <laughs> I've got a waggy tail, look at my shadow. Can you see my wagging tail, IB? Oh, yeah. It's actually not a waggy tail, it's my rucksack strap. Heading back to the car and then I'm heading home. Don't move the car, IB, I am accessing snacky bag. There's not a lot in snacky bag. Oh, that's too high for me, that is. Ugh. Will your car tell you if I didn't shut the boot properly? Yeah. Okay, seems a bit soft. Oh, what a beautiful view. A Belvita biscuit that I'm starving. <laughs> and some nice mountains too. Oh, IB's just chipped in. Pen a van, he said. Mm. It was ever so hot when we got in the car, wasn't it? It was like, oh, very hot. We were in the middle of a conversation, so I didn't tell you about it at the time. But. Lovely Wales. Valley <laughs> Yes, look, you get just look out of the car window on the way back from work and see views like this. Idyllic. The only problem is the reason it's so green is because it usually rains. We're having storms on Monday. Well, I don't know because the weather forecast always changes, but it was saying we had a mega storm warning for Monday. But he was checking earlier and it said it wasn't, says it wasn't even going to rain till the afternoon. So who knows? Or even the afternoon Tuesday, but... It was the evening and... Well, the late afternoon and the Tuesday. You'll know by the time you see this vlog anyway, how it panned out on Monday. Story Arms, isn't it? Mm. Outdoor Pursuit Centre. Can people stay there? Is, there? is it like a hostel? I don't know. It is, yeah. Like a hostel with dogs. Oh, how exciting. Just, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Cooking facilities and showers. Oh, right, okay. There it is. It's incredibly popular because it's at the foot of Penavan, the highest mountain in the southern part of Wales. I've just opened up this bottle of tap water that I filled up earlier. It's just been in the door of the car and it feels like drinking lovely delicious tea because it's, it's that warm. 
everything in the car in the sun. It's quite pleasant actually. Got a faint orangey tint to it because it was a Fanta bottle and I didn't rinse it out. I just filled it up with cold water. I'm home. Kettle's just boiled. I definitely need a cup of tea. I spied this on the floor. Do you know what that is? It's supposed to be up there. It's the heat sensor that the fireman provided us with. I think the heat has actually made it fall off the ceiling. Excuse this, this is the packaging from that hoover the other day. I need to do something with it. I'm gonna compost it gradually in with all the other things. Do we have a temperature check? 30 and a bit in the shade. It's quite late, it's the evening now. Oh, it looks like this one's come back to life as well. Look, cause that was like dead the other day. 32. I'm gonna make a cup of tea now and ring my dad, cause I did ring him in the car, but the signal was appalling. So I said, look, I'll call you back when I get in. Do it over the Wi-Fi. I've left Izzy to continue the discussion on the phone with my dad. I've been chatting to him for absolutely ages, but I'm gonna have to get dinner on because Izzy's hungry. But I thought I'd try out this posh pasta that I got from Lidl, you know, in the special section. Looks nice, doesn't it? A little bit later, they're still chatting away about the origin of the word penguin. For some random reason, they just walked in to get my camera. That's what they were talking about. I'm just sautéing some veg. There's nothing really in there in the way of spices. There are three cloves of garlic, but Izzy doesn't like it very spicy, so I'm just doing it bland. I'm trying to make enough that Izzy can have, like, a Tupperware box of it cold out of the fridge to take with her tomorrow because she's doing uh, summer school again. She's doing college for a week. I can hear my mum's just joined the WhatsApp chat. There's a great party going on by the sound of it. Um, I think this is nearly done. I've added some beans, uh, black eyed beans. I was going to put halloumi in and I realised I didn't have any so I'm going to add some mozzarella to that. Stir it all in together. Mum's confused on WhatsApp because she can see that the name of the account is mine but Isabel's on my phone so I just sort of dumped it in front of her and went to cook dinner and left it on so uh, <laughs> I think I'm gonna end the vlog now and join in and have a chat as well thank you so much for watching could you please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video bye